In 2012, the U.S. received more than 576,000 patent applications. There's never been a better time to tinker. If I can perfect that robotic bartender, or that steampunk mustache trimmer, then my booth at the tech conference is gonna get a lot of love. But tinkering, DIY, amateur invention, these aren't just hobbies. If you rewind the tape about 30,000 years, I have to finish uh, this flint ax head, or I might not survive another two weeks. So in this era of modern manufacturing, is DIY doomed? No, not at all. Tinkering and DIY is alive and well. In fact, the scene is going bonkers. Let's just check in with our buddies over at Maker Faire. Now, I'll be the first to say it, no one has a practical application for a fire-breathing steel wolf with wireless controls, but BAM! Somebody made one of those. Or what about the solid-state Tesla coils that create music by sparking audible frequencies in a Faraday cage? Or a giant hydraulic robotic arm that can crush scrap metal in dumpsters? When it comes to technology, work is intrinsically bound up with play. Take Steve Wozniak, for example. Before he built the Apple computer, he spent years engineering telephone pranks. And it goes both ways. The super soaker, that was invented by a guy named Lonnie Johnson a nuclear engineer. He was actually trying to build a heat pump at the time. And the slinky was originally a steel torsion spring that was designed to keep naval instruments in good working order during bad weather in World War II. Most of the biggest developments we see in technology actually come to us from well-funded R&D departments, but the real spirit of innovation, I think, lies with DIY and tinkering, and it's a great time to get involved. Let's just say you go to YouTube and type in how to solder a circuit board. You're going to receive more than 50 thousand results. There's more free information out there than we know what to do with. And it's easier than ever to fund your DIY project too. Take the Form 1 3D printer. They went on Kickstarter and asked for $100,000 to fund their project, and they ended up with closer to $3 million. 3D printing is the ultimate tool for the amateur inventor. Let's say that you want to build a working submarine in your garage, and before you tell me, hey Jonathan, uh, that's impossible, guess what? The awesome geeks over at the Undersea Voyager Project designed, built, and brought a working submarine to the fair. Now, a working submarine is going to have hundreds or maybe even thousands of parts to it, and you could send the design specs off to a manufacturing plant and wait for them to build and ship all those parts back to you, only to find that they don't really fit together, and then you have to do the whole thing over again. But if you have a 3D printer, you send the specs to the printer, and next thing you know, you've got a working prototype waiting for you after lunch. So more tools, more know-how, more money. Is it possible that DIY is about to go viral? And hey, let's say that you have unlimited money and unlimited time and unlimited resources. What do you build in your garage? We want to know. Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, click that like button and subscribe because we've got a lot coming up in the future that you're going to want to check out. And hey, if you've got some time, you should really watch these other videos. They're pretty awesome.